Welcome to another episode of the Gentleman's Picks Club. Recently, I got a RetroSync 4K. My friend got me introduced to this, and it's a brilliant, brilliant system. However, the one thing that's a pain in the neck is using a Mr. FPJ, because on the Mr. FPJ, it will auto detect what cores you're running and load the correct profile. You have to set up every single profile. Well, there is a script to do this, and some of you may not be Linux aware, you may not be 100% okay on your computer to do this. So I'm gonna take you through running this script, which will generate 800 plus profiles for all the arcade cores, all the consoles, and all the computers, and it's very, very easy to do. So you can load in anything you want, and it will automatically have a profile assigned to it that you can adjust as and when you want to do it. Let's go on a very quick journey together. Don't worry if the command line scares you or anything like that. I will take you through every single step and you will see the entire process on the screen. This is the Mr. FBJ loaded in. We're running Space Invaders. So if you bring up the menu for basically the RetroSync 4K, you can see Profile Invaders on the bottom left hand of the screen. You know, that is a default profile that has been modified. I never saved one called Invaders. That file name was created from a standard file that replicated 800 plus times. Let me explain a little bit more. I'm gonna go into another game. We're gonna change the core. So we're gonna go to Core and we're gonna go Space Invaders Part Two. So that's gonna load in right now and you see but that is rotated you know that's not what we want you know we don't want that to be rotated at all so we need to change this so we're going to go down to advanced settings and we're going to go to scaling cropping and we're going to rotate beta and we're going to flip that around so that's 90 degrees left we're going to hit return and go back we're going to hit return and go back we're going to go to profiles and we are going to save the current invaders part two as i say another one that i never set up but the script did it for me we're going to say, okay, I never created the script, but this is a fantastic creation that's been done. What it does is it scans all the cores on your Mr. FPJ and creates basically the profiles for you. So just to re-demonstrate this, we are going to go back and we're going to go into another core and we're going to go down to, let's do space panic. That's going to be a bit different as well. It will probably be rotated when it comes up. You can see it on the screen there. Yes, that is rotated. That's from Universal. We're going to go back again, and we're going to go back, we're going to go into Core, and we're going to go into Space Invaders Part 2, the one that we have just set up, and that loads in, and you can see the profile is back at Invaders Part 2 at the bottom of the screen. This makes your life so easy. All you've got to do is fire up every core that you use and make any adjustments that you want, and then Bob is literally your uncle, and it's done for you. And how do we do this? Well, it's all to do with the new Profile Zero. So what you need to do is you need to fire up your retro team, set the screen exactly as you want it, which is going to be the default for everything. Bear in mind, you can change anything as you go, but it's just going to be the default template for every single file you create. And you basically save as new. And when you save as new, it created a new profile here. I've got that set as button one. Um, we're not actually going to be using that for this, but we got it set as button one. So with that saved, everything that you've got, you know, every call that you've got will be generated against that particular profile. And then you can very easily go in and adjust it just like I did. Let's go on a journey to show you what you need to do on your PC, where you need to get the URL from to actually make this work. This is Firefox loaded in and Firefox is showing you GitHub. This particular GitHub link will be in the video description below. And this is all you need to do this. And this comes from Matt Retrogamer. Matt Retrogamer is the guy that has actually created this, um, who has basically taken all the pain away on the RetroSync for profiles and it is a brilliant, brilliant script. It's absolutely fantastic. There are instructions on how to use it, but if you just follow the video I do, it will take you through it. Basically, do read everything that's been detailed here. Everything that you've got on the screen, you know, is worth a read. But the one file that you're interested in here is the generate underscore RT4K Mr. DV1 profiles.sh. That's the one single script that you need to download from that site. So if you go and download this, 
we are then going to change screen and we're going to basically be putting this onto our Mr. FPGA. So here we are on Windows. We've got three panes. We have got the USB on the top left. This is the profile directory where we want to be copying a profile from the RetroTrink USB, or sorry, the RetroTrink um, SD card into the directory that's on the right hand side which is the transfer directory we're not going to copy it directly into there we're going to use the transfer directory which is on the bottom pane where we've basically got the transfer directory on the left and we've got the mr fpga on the right this is where we transfer our files from one directory to another so what we do we go into the profile directory and we do a search for the file that we just saved and we can see it just here we click on that file and we drag it into the windows pane at the bottom of the screen and we drop it in there and it creates a file in there once we basically copy that in there and you'll also see it appear effectively on the transfer directory on the top right that's irrelevant but it's just there to show you that we do keep this file what we then do is we need to basically copy that file into the mr fpga so i'm in the scripts directory at the moment and we're gonna drop back okay we're not gonna drop back we're gonna copy this script into the scripts directory so this is the script that we are going to be running the script that you would have downloaded from the url on the previous screen and as i say it's in the video description below if you want we're dropping back here just a little bit and it's this directory we want to put the profile as well so we're going to do a few commands on the command line that i will talk you through very slowly don't be scared of the command line there is nothing there is nothing to worry about as long as you can hit f9 on the keyboard and follow instructions you will be absolutely fine so here we are on the root of my mr fpga if you want to get into root and you don't know how to do this you do f9 the login is root r00t and the password is one that is exactly the same for all mr fpjs so we want to change directory effectively onto our sd card so it's cd space media and you can hit tab here to auto complete and you can do fat and hit return i have written all the commands down you need to do the commands are in the video description below but just to show you what they look like we're going to have a look at them here very quickly using a tool called vi and i've called run.sh which is basically everything what we're doing is we're making a directory called rt4k we're then going into that directory we're making a directory called profile we're then going into that directory. We're then making another directory called CRT emulation. And then we're going into that directory. And then we'll make a longer directory there with the CRT module emulation. And then we're going into that. What we then do is if you recall, we saved basically the profile onto the root of the SD card on the Mr. FPGA. You saw us doing this where we had the little windows capture there. We are copying that file into the directory where we currently are with that particular file name and then we're dropping it into the scripts directory we're setting two environment variables that are actually needed for this script to run and then we're running the script you can literally cut and paste all of this and it will work for you but we're going to leave this because we don't want to be in here so it's going to be uh, escape and then colon where are we then we're going to quit so that x is via that's the text editor but basically we are going to run the script now so if we do run sh or you can choose to enter all those commands one line at a time on your own and it does this and look at this it is creating the profiles already for us you can see it working through in the dv1 directory and it's glorious it's absolutely glorious what it does here um you need to do no work for this and essentially what you do you then go into the profiles directory that you created you will see on the sd card so you go in the r2 uh, 3k directory so r2 4k directory into the profile directory there's a dv1 directory that's in there and that dv1 directory is all the profiles that you will copy out into the dv1 directory of the profile folder of your retrotink sd card and you know obviously don't overwrite any that are there because you want to keep those but then it's done for you it takes a little bit of time to create the profiles but you know i'm just letting it do this i'm letting you see exactly what you've got is looking at every core um that's available here i think it does the clones as well it certainly should do the clones if there's about 800 it creates and you will get stats at the end you know you can see some of the stuff here and there you go profiles created 853 profiles overwritten zero and profile skipped 13. if we then skip back to the windows pc here in fact we won't skip back to the windows pc 
This screenshot that you can see here of all the files that it created is these files you copy into the DV1 directory of your RetroTINK and you'll be able to use it exactly as I showed you at the beginning of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope this has been useful to you. Thank you to the creator for creating this wonderful tool that makes everything so much easier. You know, absolutely brilliant. My hat is tipped to you, my friend. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Would you like to play again?